Good evening and welcome to NBC News Headlines at 10. I'm Janet Asis and on to our top story. The chairperson of the National Petroleum Corporation of Namibia, Namco, Board of Directors, says the company is no longer technically insolvent. Now, Siseho Simosiku notes that the latest status follows a $538 million bailout to the financially troubled entity. He told a media conference in the capital this afternoon that money was used to settle Namco's debt to the Swiss-based Glencore Energy. Moving on to other developments, the National Union of the Namibian Workers, NUNW, will investigate allegations of its Secretary General's behaviour. Now, some of the allegations were regarding public statements al al alleging made by Karonda and sharing a platform with opposition unions. Now, the NUNW president today briefed the media on resolutions taken at the Saturday meeting. Now, in news from the Irongo region, members of the Topnar community outside Balfour's Bay are worried that they might not see another batch of the Nara melon within the next three years. This after many Nara plants were washed away by the Kwisip River, which generally surprised the residents this year. Now, in news from the south, the Kocha settlement in the Rearboth rural constituency now has electricity, electricity after becoming the latest beneficiary of government's rural electrification program. And the program, which started shortly after independence, seeks to improve the living standards in rural areas, the quality of health, economic and commercial activities, and to combat deforestation. Crossing over to international news, troops loyal to internationally recognized president-elect Alassane Ouattara has begun patrolling the streets of Abidjan in efforts to restore peace and calm in the aftermath of Laurent Barbo's capture. Now, signs of the month of fighting between the rival forces can still be visibly seen in the country's economic city. Now, on to sports news. The money raised by the Nesta Tobias Boxing and Training Academy towards the expenses of Algino Bertoloni as heart transplant was handed over to his family today. The handing over of the $96,600 check was done by the founding president, Dr. Sam Yoma, at his office in the capital today. Well, those are the stories making headlines today. I'm Janet Asis. Until next time, goodbye.